Hello everyone, today is a standing workout using a pair of weights. I have with me a medium set of dumbbells, something that's suitable for my upper and lower body, but grab whatever is accessible to you and whatever fits your strength. And now the format will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest with 15 moves, no repeats, and I'll be your guide the entire way. So if you're ready, grab those weights and let's begin. Starting with one weight, we have a good morning. So carefully place that weight behind your neck, feet underneath your hips, hinging forward, sticking that booty out and then squeezing up at the top. Ready, off we go. Take your time with each movement. So two seconds down, two seconds to stand up. Really use your glutes and hamstrings to stand up. Squeezing at the top. If ever this feels too much with the weight, you can also do this body weight. We're activating and strengthening that entire posterior chain. So really focus on that back, the backs of the legs. One more. Beautiful, now bring that weight, hug it into your chest. Keep those feet underneath your hips. We have a goblet squat, so coming all the way down, squeezing at the top. I'll come side on for you. Sinking into your heels. Squatting and then squeezing at the top, soft knees. So by keeping your knees soft at the top, you're gonna keep time under tension, so those muscles are gonna be engaged for the full 45 seconds. Loading up the front of the legs now with that weight tucked in at our chest. Really give that booty a good squeeze as you stand. Every rep, try and sink a little deeper in that squat. Knees over toes. Last one. Beautiful, now grab your other weight. We have a regular deadlift, so feet underneath your hips, just like that good morning, but this time shaving your legs with the weights, squeezing up. Roll those shoulders back, let's begin. Booty goes back, squeezing up, keeping that flat back neutral spine. Take that eye level with you. Keep that two seconds down, two seconds up tempo. working that full body strength today. So really bring that mind to muscle, slow down each movement. Last one, finish it off. Now moving into our upper body, upright row. So zipping those weights up through the midline of your body and then controlling back down. Roll those shoulders and let's go. Squeezing up and down. Zip those weights up as if you're zipping on a jacket. Control on the way down. Making sure those shoulders are back and down, squeezing your shoulder blades as you lift. Keep that good posture. Lifting up from the crown of your head. Pause engage, knees are soft, I'm squeezing my booty. Breathe out on that effort. And take your rest. Now back in that hinge position, we have a wide row. So teeing out those arms, and squeezing back down. So stay in that good hinge, protect that lower back core strong into our row and then back down. Two seconds up, two seconds down.
and really pinch those shoulder blades together at the top. Really feeling this in our lats. You can always take a recenter and stand up tall in between your reps as well. Otherwise, challenge yourself in that hinge, but not to the point of failure, so you don't want to feel it in your lower back. No pain. Last one. Beautiful. Now we have a squat to press. So racking those weights up to your shoulders, sinking down in our squat, shoulder press to stand up tall. Ready? I'll come side on for you. Off we go, deep squat, pressing the weights up to the ceiling. Really sinking into the heels, using power from the legs to get those weights up overhead. Option to do this with one weight if two weights is too much. Almost there. One more rep. Beautiful. Now moving into some arms, we have a lateral raise with a bicep curl. So two lateral raises to the side, flip the palms out, two bicep curls. Ready, let's go. Two lateral raises, one, two, two bicep curls, flipping those palms, one, and two. If those weights are a little heavier for you, you can also alternate and do one arm at a time. Go one, go two, and then break that lateral raise down as well. One and two. Otherwise, go for the double. Breathe out as we lift those weights up. So remember, on that effort, you're breathing out. and recover. Now we have two tricep extensions, one or two weights, weights up overhead. Bend from the elbow twice, and then bring those weights to your chest. Two reverse lunges. Off we go. Two overhead triceps. Step back in a goblet, reverse lunge, alternating sides. You always have that option to drop to one weight. Last 10 seconds. And let's drop to one weight now. Now for some unilateral work. We're starting on the right leg. We have a single leg deadlift floating that back leg, and then a step back lunge. Staying on that right leg. Let's go, so floating that leg if you can, option to keep it kickstand, then stepping back into our reverse lunge, driving through that right foot. Challenging your strength and stability on this move. and for the next two moves after this. So unilateral work is so great to balance out those muscular kinks and imbalances we have between our right and left. Keep strong. And staying on that right leg, so right leg forward, Kickstand that left leg into a split squat. So now we're coming down and then pressing with that left arm. So have that weight on our left shoulder. Off we go, coming down, pressing up. Dropping that back knee, pressing up with that weight. 
So just like that squat to press, but this time on one leg. So dropping that knee down, using that leg power to punch that weight to the ceiling. So good. Last one. Beautiful, now hinging forward. Have that weight still in that left hand. Bring that right hand down. We have two low rows. Grab the weight with both hands. Two wood chops. Ready, set yourself up. Let's go. So row one and two. Grab the weight, switch those legs. So have them all 10 toes facing forward to then twist up for two wood chops. Really set yourself up between each move. Two low rows. Bend into the knees. Two wood chops. Notice how I really twist and pivot on that wood chop. And rest. Ooh, getting sweaty. Moving into the other side, exactly the same. Now our left leg is forward. So we have that single leg deadlift into our step back lunge. Let's go. Option is there for that kickstand on that single leg deadlift. If you did that on the other side, or if this side isn't feeling as strong as the other. Last 10. And staying on that left, Bring that right leg back, weight up onto our right shoulder, split squat and press. Ready, off we go. Drop that right knee down, punching that right arm to the ceiling. Keep driving through that left heel. Check that alignment, knees in line with the toes. Last one. Beautiful, staying in this position. Let's break down those rows and wood chops again. So two rows, grab onto the weight, twist forward, two wood chops. Ready, let's go. Really firing up that back as well as those obliques, that rotation through the core. Catch that balance, get that coordination. That's a reminder to myself as well. And you can straighten or bend that back knee in that lunge, really wherever you feel most stable. all the way and rest one more move tuck that one weight into our chest we have side squats so the length of your mat if you have one or three steps one side three steps the other ready let's go staying low the entire time the challenge is not to come up 
This is your final move. Stink that booty low. Chest is high. Chest is proud because we're in our final 30 seconds. Now 20. Burn out those legs. Breathe. Can you sink an inch lower? Yes, we can. And recover. Weight down. Wipe the sweat away, maybe grab some water. And if you have a couple of minutes, stick around. Let's stretch together. So let's just begin on our mats. Come down on our knees. Open up our hips and sink back into a child's pose. Hips to heels, stretching those arms long. Take a couple of deep inhales and exhales, lowering that heart rate. One more inhale. As you exhale, let's tuck those toes under, push back into a downward facing dog. Maybe walk the dog here. And then when you're ready, let's bring that right knee into a runner's lunge. Drop that back knee. And let's take that right arm up and over. Circle it to the back. And let's just take some wrist rolls. Stretching out, releasing that wrist here. And then place that right hand down, push back and get a hamstring stretch on that right side. Really flexing that foot back to your face for a deeper stretch. And release, come back through that runner's lunge, push back into a downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out and let's move into our left side in that lunge reach that left arm up and over roll out the wrist and then let's place that left arm down flex that heel and bring those toes to your face get a deep hamstring stretch on the left Beautiful. And then coming back through your runner's lunge and let's just take one more downward facing dog. Enjoy it. And then just tuck those knees in and come into a seated position, however is comfortable. Cross those legs and let's just reach those hands up and over. And let's take a side bend up and over to the right. So drop that right arm down reach up and over and then up and over to the left really stretching out those obliques reach that arm overhead one more each side Beautiful, if you have the time, keep stretching. Otherwise, let's take a couple of breaths all together, reaching those hands up overhead. Bring those hands down through heart center on the exhale, one more. Inhale, taking all that strength and as you exhale, bring those hands down through heart center. Beautiful job, amazing work for showing up, pressing play, working that strength and so easy to do. Anywhere, anytime, you don't need a lot of space. You didn't even need a mat today because we were standing the entire time. So I hope you love that workout today. Give me feedback, chat as always, and I look forward to working out with you again. Thank you, have a beautiful day.